alternative explanation for the wave nature of matter. Wave nature of matter misled us for near a century. Joseph George Researcher and author Einstein's explanation of the photoelectric effect came in 1905. He proposed that light is composed of tiny packets or particles of energy and succeeded in explaining the photoelectric effect by considering this light's behavior. By inspiring this behavior of light, the French physicist Louis Victor de Broglie imagined that if light, which was previously considered only as a wave, has a dual nature, why not particles like electrons also have similar behavior? In 1924, he developed the de Broglie hypothesis, suggesting that matter has a wave-like nature alongside its particle nature. In 1927, at the University of Aberdeen, G.P. Thomson passed a beam of electrons through a thin metal film and observed interference patterns. At Bell Labs, Davison and Germer conducted an experiment by guiding an electron beam through a crystalline grid. This experiment also has created similar patterns of electrons. In fact, the experimentalists have confirmed that moving electrons demonstrate a wave-like behavior, today we know that particles like protons, neutrons, atoms, and even molecules can create interference patterns. The success of de Broglie's prediction resulted in the birth of a new branch in physics, quantum mechanics. Today quantum mechanics is considered as the fundamental theory in physics which provides a description of the physical properties of nature at the scale of atoms and subatomic particles. Well, everything looks good. But a few questions seem to be relevant here. The speed of electrons in the matter wave experiment is not too big. For example, in the Davison-Germer experiment, the maximum intensity of electrons diffracted by the atomic surface was observed at an angle theta equals 50 degrees with a voltage of 54 V. Now the question is how is it possible for an electron to completely change its behavior by increasing its kinetic energy just to 54 electron volts? I do not know whether anybody considered this before. But anyway I am not fully convinced with this idea. I suspect that perhaps there is something happening here and the idea of the dual nature of matter needs to be investigated further. In the previous video, we saw that space is not empty but filled with a form of matter. I think that perhaps there is a connection between a particle's wave behavior and matter in space. Perhaps the constant collision or interaction of electrons with the matter in space has forced the electrons to behave like this. In other words, perhaps because of matter in space no particle can travel in a straight line through space. If we add this factor to de Broglie's matter wave formula we will get the exact same result. Therefore I am doubtful whether the observed wave nature of electrons, or any other particle, has any significance in the understanding of the fundamental nature of matter. At the same time, if matter in space has a role in the observed wave behavior of matter, it has an impact on other phenomena in the universe too. We know the phenomena of the increasing mass of a fast-moving body, time dilation, length contraction, etc. I suspect that all these phenomena are directly linked with matter in space. In fact, perhaps we can interpret all these phenomena as experimental evidence for matter in space. It also highlights the fact that we need to develop a more realistic model for atoms and subatomic particles, which fits more accurately with observable facts in nature. I welcome researchers to consider exploring the universe in a new way.